What up, what up, what up? Give it up for everybody you've seen on stage. Clap for everybody you've seen on stage. This is the Grown People Show. Where the grown people make some noise? Grown people at, where they at? This is how you know when you grown. You know how you know when you grown? Where the people at that when you wake up, shit hurt for no reason? That's when you grown. Where the, this is how you know you grown and your body ain't shit no more. The other day I answered my phone too fast and pulled a pec muscle. That's when your body ain't shit. When you're like, what's up, nigga? God damn it. Text me. My body ain't shit. And I'm about to share something with you people. I know this is national TV, and I shouldn't share this, but I don't give a fuck if you judge me. I'm about to share something with y'all. I'm at a comfortable age in my life where I sit down and pee. And I don't give a fuck if you judge me, because I do. That's where I'm at in my life. That's my journey. You understand what I'm saying? You get tired of waking up at 3 in the morning, pissing, and going three different directions. Not me. I sit down with confidence. I don't give a fuck. And I leave the door open so the woman who came home with me after the club see she made a bad decision. Just... <laughs> don't you hate when you sit down at three in the morning and your dick fall in that cold water and it wake you up, don't you hate that? Look at all the women, your dick in the water? Yep. Cause God is good, yes he is. Reach over and touch your neighbor and say his dick is in the water. Cause Jesus loves him, yes he does. Look at all the white dudes, your dick in the water? Yep. Cause Jesus loves me. Reach over and touch your neighbor and say his dick is in the water. Everything changes when you get older, everything. Dating changes. When you in your 20s and you lay in the bed with a woman, you say whatever you can so she'll let you touch it. It's not truthful when you're 20 cause you just, you gotta get it. When you grown, you're in your 40s, you're a little more honest. Just be laying in the bed with a woman like, you know. I have seizures at night, you know what I'm saying? I just. My medication's in the second drawer. If you wake up and I'm shaking, bitch, it ain't an orgasm. Save me, you understand? Dial 911, bitch, I'm sick. Now, there's a little bit of truth to that story. I don't have seizures, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I was dating a girl who does. And first of all, you ain't supposed to spring that shit on a nigga. You should share that before we go to sleep, you know what I mean? I mean, she woke up shaking her heart. She hit me in the back so hard, I thought she knew I was cheating on her, you know what I'm saying? I, I woke up explaining, that bitch ain't me, you okay? You all right? So I panicked and got dressed and left. But what I'm trying to tell you, what? Y'all very judgmental people here in New York. And I see the women looking at me. I'm not an asshole. Listen, let me explain it to you. She had a roommate, so I ran down the hall. I knocked on the door and said, yo, your girl down there doing a robot. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And, um, so I'm not an asshole, you know? And y'all don't understand. See, I know y'all looking at me like I'm wrong. I'm not. Let me tell you some seizures are major medical conditions. She could pass away. You know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. Let's say I stay the night, she pass away, not a paramedic show up, the news there. What the fuck I'm gonna tell my wife? Y'all don't understand my journey. I left for my family, I'm not selfish. Everything changed when you get older. Not, no bullshit, your body fall apart. Nine months ago, I had kidney stones. Worst pain in the world. Don't wish it on my worst enemy. For those of you that never had it, it is worse than childbirth. This is the worst. See, you hear them? Listen, you hear the women? No matter what you say, no matter what city, <laughs> worse than child. How he know? <laughs> worse than child. You know how I know it's worse? Because a rock came on my dick. I win. <laughs> the pain is worse. Fuck your baby. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Fuck your child. I didn't take it home and try and name it and tell people it looked like me. No, this shit is worse. <laughs> so anyway, let me tell you something, Sue. They put me on this stuff called hydrocodone. You ever been on that young lady? It's, that's the good shit. <laughs> what they don't tell you about hydrocodone, it's a powerful medication. It'll take the pain away, but it binds you up. You know what I'm saying? You know, not a pain gone, but now I'm constipated six days. Hydrocodone is so powerful, swear to God, you can feel the doo-doo building up. I swear to God, I'm, a, I'm on the couch counting turds like, hell no, that's, that's gonna hurt coming out. I ain't built for that shit, that shit. You can smell it through the skin, baby girl, baby girl. 
Look up. I'm not gonna leave until you smell it. Look up. The camera on your face. Smell it, baby girl. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. I like her. You all right? You smelled it too. You good? Yeah? I'm kind of in love with you now. That's all right. That's your... Listen. <laughs> everything changes when you get older. I'm telling you, man. It's, it's, everything falls apart. You know, my doctor said, listen, man, the reason your health ain't where you want it to be is because you're not sleeping good at night. He said, I got this thing called sleep apnea. Anybody know what sleep apnea is? For those of you that don't know, sleep apnea is we just wake up in the middle of the night dead. <laughs> yeah. It's a medical condition. You snore so motherfucking hard that in the middle of the night, your lungs and throat get together and say, let's kill this nigga. You wanna kill him? Fuck him, I hate him, let's kill him. This is a true story. One night about three o'clock in the morning, I couldn't breathe, I'm laying in bed like eh. Eh. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't breathe. Eh. You wanna know how fucked up my mind is? You wanna know what I was more concerned with? Not the fact that I couldn't breathe and there was a chance that I can die, but I ain't been working out and I'm in my underwear with a gut, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the air conditioner was on, I had shrinkage, my dick is bigger than that. It be in the water. I don't wanna be the man responsible for fucking up 400 years of a myth. That is a lot of pressure. I need to wake up for my people, you know what I'm saying? So now I sleep with the heat on so my dick can be its real size, you know what I mean? I just, I just lay in the bed and point it just in case I die. Oh, I'm sorry, pay attention, baby girl, look. <laughs> Paramedics show up like, he dead, but that nigga was chopping him down with that one. Look right there, come on. Instagram, come on. <laughs> your turn, your turn, come on. <laughs> then the worst thing of all, my doctor said, hey man, you're getting a little older, we wanna check your prostate. And I said, no. I pray on it, you know what I mean? You ain't gotta go in there, that's between me and Jesus, you know? But then they scare you with all these statistics, like in a black community, prostate cancer, the numbers are rising, you gotta get self checked. I said, man, you know. So I called my mother, she said, baby, you gotta stop being silly. Let them check you, so. You ever get your prostate check, young man? How old are you? 31, nine years from now, somebody gonna finger fuck you, how about that? <laughs> For your health, but it's going down, brother. Is that your lady friend right there? This is how I know God got a sense of humor. Everything you try and do to her, a man gonna do to you. How about that? Because the Lord works in mysterious ways. Now, I don't want to scare you, brother, but this is how it went down. It was me and a man, we in a room alone. It was rain and it was dark, that's how I remember it. And uh, <laughs> Motherfucker took this rubber glove, put some lube on his finger. I bent over a table with my pants and my ankles. And here's what I hate, they, when you give me your permission, they ain't sit to your knees no more. He's like, bend over and take your pants off. I said, like, hold on, nigga, that's my first time, man. Can we, can we grind and kiss first or something, nigga? I don't... <laughs> Motherfucker took his finger, swear to God, right in my booty hole. <laughs> first of all, I know me, there should have been more resistance. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Now I'm bent over the table judging myself like, what the fuck you been doing? And his finger just went right in. Then I was more concerned thinking, what is the doctor back there thinking like? It went right in, you know what I mean? I could have got two fingers, he bullshit, you know what I mean? Thank you very much, I'm Steve Wilson. Bro.